Hello, I'm David. During the last project I had a problem with the weights of some elements in the model. After a short investigation I noticed that the weight of the round bars are incorrect. In this video I will show you how I solved this problem. Let's see an example. As we can see in the model, I created one beam with circular profile. The length of this beam is one meter. If we check the weight of this beam, we can see the value of weight is 2.36. The profile of the beam is the circular profile with size 20 millimeters. Let's check the weight of the profile using calculations in Excel. When we calculate the area of the circle with size of 20 millimeters and calculate the weight of profile, we can see that the value should be 2.47. But in Tecla structures, we got 2.36. It is 4% difference. With smaller profiles, we can see much more difference. Let's change this profile to D6. We can see that the weight is 0 0.20, but calculated weight should be 0 0.22. Now we got almost 10% of difference. What is the reason of that result? Double click on this beam and open profiles. And we can see now this D profile, which I am using. It's not catalog profile, it's parametric profile. Parametric profiles had this orange icon here but catalog profiles have this blue icon. In catalog profiles, the area of the cross section is defined, but in calculated profiles, it is calculated by Tecla structures. We can notice that this is not a perfect circle. This is polygon and for small cross section, it is octagon or hexagon. The area of this polygon is smaller than circle polygon. We can see that by drawing circle over. So the all cross section and the weight is incorrect. When I tried to fix that problem, I experimented with advanced options. I opened it many settings, advanced options, and here in speed and accuracy there are some advanced options like hamfer accuracy factor or polybeam tolerance, but I experimented with that without result. So I decided to create my own profiles with correct value of cross-section area. I opened the menu, catalogs, and profile catalog. Now in section circular sections I selected one of defined profiles and clicked right then copy profile. Now I change the name of this profile to D20. And now I got this D20 profile. I'm setting the diameter size to 20. And in second tab, I override the cross section area value with correct value. For diameter 20, it should be 314.60. Now I click OK and update and save changes to model. 
for be sure I can now open catalog profile but from the beam settings select this profile check this area click OK now let's check the weight of this beam it is now 2.47 so it has now correct value previously it was 2.36 so in the next step I will add the other profiles that I normally use open menu catalogs profile catalog select d20 profile and then copy Usually I'm using D10 profile, D60, D24, and D8. Don't forget to set correct size because we copy this from D20. Now we can overwrite area of these cross sections. Now check the weight of some profiles, for example the 10 mm. Zero point sixty two and we got zero point sixty two in our calculation, so everything is correct. So that is all for this video. Thank you for watching.